So today's class is April 21st. What we have done from the time the school let out up until now has been an AMI assignment where you did um, Zen tangles around a silhouette. We have done um, a recreation of an art history artwork and we have brainstormed if we um, were in lockdown in one room for a certain amount of time, what were the things that you would want in there? What were 10 things? All of these, if you're missing them, are on Google Classroom. Um, make sure that you're getting those things in and emailing me if you have any questions about that, okay? Um, I just updated everybody's grades, so your grades are entirely updated. And um, right after this class, your next assignment will be put up. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. And there are so many screens open, I don't know which. It is wrong one. Sorry, hold please. This is like the problem with the. Uh... Okay, well, we're going to go to Google Slides real quick. Sorry. I must have closed it. So essentially, you're just going to take, I'm going to talk while I'm trying to pull this up all clunky. But essentially, you're going to take the template that I showed you guys last week or the drawing of the template that you made. And you are going to create a drawing inside this space of your ideal coronavirus situation. Um, I talked about how the artist that created this challenge uses hashtag Corona Mason, which means like Corona House, and other artists are showing, or other people in general are responding to this challenge. And so I put this website in the PowerPoint that I shared with you guys, um, so that way you can look at a bunch of different examples that people have done and put up. And there's some that are a little bit like more um, school age level, um, but there are some that are done digitally. If you know how to do some of these things, you're welcome to do them. And this person even did it on a chalkboard. So like you could even do it on a whiteboard. So use the materials that you have at your home. I know that that's completely different for everybody. That's okay as long as you're still getting the main point of the assignment. You're adding detail. You're doing your absolute best. And then some artists responded to that as well. And what I want you to notice as you look through these um, different examples is different types of detail that they placed in there. Um, so if you look at like, here's a skylight, here's like a door up here. Um, they changed their um, staircase into a ladder. Um, if you even notice like certain, oops, certain things like have certain angles that make it look like it go back and goes back into the distance. You can use these examples as inspiration when you're creating your own thing. Um, some of them were done with marker. This one was done online somehow. So again, it doesn't have to be super complex. It just has to have some detail. This was done online. So this is like different things that are pasted in there. That could even be done using like Google Slides or something. Um, this person, um, like, I really like this one because there's different things that weren't in all of the other ones. So there's like a little nook in here um, in the wall. There's a window, there's a staircase that they made their own. So. The whole hope is that I can tell some things about you by looking at your Corona Mason project, okay? So um, like he has three dogs in here, he has a guitar, he has a piano, and I think this was done digitally as well. If you wanna draw your room in accurate perspective, um, what that means is that you it's going back in the distance. Then I've included a YouTube link in here for you. I was going to show you guys on the live call, but I just thought it would be easier for you to check out the YouTube link and learn a little bit about that if it's something that you want to do. I don't expect it to be perfect, you guys. I didn't even get to have it on class for like more than a week, but I do want you to have that resource if you want to know how to draw it in accurate proportions, okay? And so your assignment for this week is, um, and again, this is all gonna be posted to Google Classroom right after this, is to draw in detail your ideal quarantine space. So last week we brainstormed, and now you're gonna start drawing into it. Um, a few tips on that. If you are drawing a basketball hoop, or if you are drawing a, like, couch or a cat or whatever, don't just go to Google and type in cat. 
go to Google and type in simple cat doodles or things like that to make it a little easier on yourself. Um, that way you can see how other people have drawn these things in a more simplistic manner. Um, and you can even look up tutorials on how to do those things. And if you are, I'll talk about that in a minute. So at least five of the things that you wrote on your list to me need to be included in your coronavirus space. I would say there probably needs to be more than five things in the room because like what if, okay, so I'm thinking about the things that I would want in my room with me. I would want um, coffee, a cat, my husband, my dog, um, and my iPad. And so if those are the only things in the room, that's a pretty empty room, right? So you're probably going to need more, but I want at least five of the things that you brainstormed on last week. Um, the rest can just be other detail that you feel like would be fun to add in. It's okay with doodles as long as there is detail. What that means is if I draw a couch, they're like, I could push that further and say, what would be on the couch with me? Would there be a notepad? Would there be a um, video game controller? Would there be a cat? Would there be potato chips? Okay. And then draw line until you get it right. Um, this is just a really good tip in general. Like it, nobody expects you to be perfect at drawing. Every single person, even if they're a professional artist, makes mistakes. But if you're drawing lightly, then you're able to erase those and not notice them as much, right? Um, after you're finished with your drawing, you just upload a picture of it to Google Classroom, and that's it. So I'm going to stop my share real quick and give you a few quick tips. So if you have template, okay, if you don't have this template, then you can draw the template. And, and you don't have to, if you want to include the staircase like this, then you can. That's a little challenging to draw, maybe, for you. Maybe it's not. If you can draw it, draw it. But maybe your staircase is a little simpler. Maybe you don't even have a staircase in your coronavirus room. But you're going to start with some kind of room, right? And pay attention to the fact that, like, these lines that go back at an angle, that's what makes it look like the room is going back in the distance, okay? And so those are kind of important to have. Um, they don't be, have to be at the exact perfect angle, but they're kind of important to have to go back because that makes it look like it's going back in the distance. So think about if... Um, your parents have cleaned out an entire room in your house and they're like, okay, you get to decorate this. So what are you going to do? So the first thing you would do is, well, you actually wouldn't do this, but you would have a room already set up. So this is your room, but does the room have a window? Does it have a door here? Does it have something on the ceiling? Does it have a ceiling fan? I don't know. So think about the structure of your room first. The second thing would be, if you're designing your room, the second thing you would do is put furniture in there. That would just be the next thing that you would do. So is there a couch? Is there a bed? Is there um, a chair? Like what is the actual furniture that's in there? And then the last thing that you would do is decorate it. So um, like, is there a blanket on your couch that has a pattern? Is there decorations on the wall? Is there like random little like knickknacky things? Like I have my Bob Ross back here. Um, so think about like different things that you can incorporate into there that would be in your ideal space um, and do that. And then at the very end, I want you to look at it and say, okay, like, how can I add a little bit more detail? Okay, um, I've had a lot of emails and questions about do I have to color it? Do I have to blah, blah, blah? All you have to do is draw it out in a ton of detail. If you want to color it, fantastic. If you need the bonus points, I'll give you some bonus points if you color it and add even more detail. Um, but the base level of this is to draw it out and upload it to Google Classroom. So that's pretty much it. Um, does anybody have any questions? If you can, you can, if you do, you can unmute right now and ask them.